Welcome back everybody to another episode of City Skylines Snowfall with me, Vapor. And as you can see, I've been busy. <laughs> I've decided before we just had this straight coastline all the way along. So I've extended the land out a little bit and we've given ourselves like some marinas. I think that's a fishing tour, yeah. The only thing we're kind of missing down here, I would say, is probably car parking, but some of these buildings do come with. Whoop. Oh, that's actually quite a nice view. Um, it's just getting the land to kind of conform with the side of the building, which is proven to be a bit of a challenge. But you don't really notice it if you're looking from this direction. Now, I have got a mod for anti-seagulls. They don't seem to be making as much noise. I guess it's just reduced them a little bit. Uh, because they are really irritating. And we've got a restaurant out here. I don't get... I think there must be European buildings because we've got a French flag and a German flag. But I don't mind. Now, as you can see, I've got all these rocks, trees, and the water seems to be coming up on land here a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to tweak that. But yeah, I've placed all these in and done a bit of decoration. Because my main kind of goal for over here is to get these to expand to the next level. So if we look at land value, now I would say we're probably at this colour. So we've still got a few more to go, but having these sort of buildings around is going to increase the the, the level. And it just needs one more really. So parks, parlors, good services and increased land value. Now, we could put some of these unique buildings in. But it's finding the right sort of thing. Spa Hotel, we'll be using that one later on. But it is finding the right one for the area. And some of these are really big as well, so... Got to bear that in mind. What have we got here? Mountain of Life and Death. That is pretty huge. Something... Something more residential would be nice, though. Opera House... Russian office, lovely. Expo center, now that could come in useful later on. And the science center, we'll, we'll do something with those. A stadium, modern art museum. Ah, now that's not too bad. An impressive office building, ah, oh, it's office. But, I guess, nothing wrong with having offices by the houses. It just depends if it makes noise, I suppose. Hmm. I don't want to really put it out here, do I? I don't know, should we... Should we chuck it in? I'm not sure how that's going to look. Well, let's go for it and see. Holy moly, that is some serious building. All these people suddenly appear out of nowhere. That is actually quite gorgeous, I must admit. I don't think that looks too out of place. Is it, is it classed as a as an office, I wonder? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's, can we... Oh, we can't do nothing with that, can we? It's, it's forced some of the buildings to rebuild, but I'm quite happy to have that there, I think. It's got a little helipad on the top. And if we look down here... You can't really see them too well, because I didn't... I didn't use the same light lights I used last time, but there is lights within here as well, as you can see. Just to give it a bit more more of an effect, because it was very dark before. But as you see, it just lights up just, just inside a little bit. I think that looks quite good. Well, after five minutes of wittering on about what I've just done there, we can... Um, Ah, one second. Bear with me. Can we run a path off here? No, the roads are a bit too tight together. Well, oh my god, that's a tiny building. The question is, will any of these go up any further in level? Grease, ah, do you know what? I wonder what my taxes are like. See, we're running at unlimited money, so really we don't need... I have these so high. Well, they're already quite low anyway. If we lower those, 
That should help things a little bit. Anyway, let's turn this night cycle off. I think we really need to find a mod that actually works for this because it gets a bit annoying coming in here every time. Ah, there we go. We can see again. Right, what I was thinking, because we're going to do some work over here. I'll probably pause the game, actually. I want to put some offices probably here. I was thinking more up here. But I'm thinking maybe here instead. Just kind of between the industry and the commercial will expand right up. But I was pondering, and this is where it's probably going to go completely wrong now, is having the motorway um, actually not underground, but kind of in an indentation, let's say. So, let's remove these. Now, the only problem here might be this. So, we will see. And it took me... Oh God, that makes some noise. It took, me, <laughs> it took me forever to do that as well. Even though it's pretty basic stuff. So, I'm thinking if we... Um, if we place it flat on the ground first, no, that's not going to work, is it? We just need to, we just need to go for it. And this is where it gets rather frightening. So size, yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna get in the way. Can I empty building? Can't move it. Okay, let's empty it. Uh, we're going to need to remove all these power cables as well. Which... <coughs> excuse me. Which... Um, we'll stop these guys having power, I think. So if we kind of relocate these instead. Take all the ones from out here. There's no need for them to be here anymore. I'm pretty sure... I could be completely wrong. But what we'll do is we'll... We will run them across. It's not high enough. Okay, fair enough. There we go. We can get this across here, that'd be quite nice. How high have I got this thing? make sure because if, if I have completely fluffed that up we may as well unpause the game because that's not going to empty otherwise and it's going to continue to be in the way so I'm thinking if I put this down first so if I say like we're going to go something like this because The idea is, I need to lower the land, but the game being the way it is, I find the tools very clunky. So what I'm planning on doing is, something along the lines of this, if it'll let me. Now bear with me, I've not tested this, so it, it might not work at all. So you're not just going to let me do a straight road? Pain in the backside. Right, so. Whoa, wrong way around. Well, what a nice mountain. <laughs> so if we kind of get a level where we think we want it, I think, let's just try about there. Might be a bit too low. And I'm using the road to stop it from completely ruining the terrain either side. It's still a bit, a bit low. Like that. I don't think that's too bad a height. So if we kind of just continue to draw through, now this is going to be in the way. And I'm potentially thinking of putting the entire road net, well not the road network, but this this kind of highway at a sunken level. Because when I when I look around in this country, I tend to find that. They're either higher up, but surrounded by kind of a verge, like a bit well, or more of a hill, I guess, or they're lower down. So I'm going to kind of go with, with that look. Now, I've got to remember which side of the blooming road they drive on. 
Right, so if it's coming this way, so this will be the side that they're driving this direction on, so... I think we'll stop about there because I need to connect it here. And we need to kind of go back the other way. Doesn't look that low down now. <laughs> I don't know if it's, has the road adjusted that or... There's nothing stopping me doing a little bit of a hill either side of it anyway. Alright, let's go back to this tool. So if we... Well, let's, let's be brave. Let's... Let's drop this to about half strength and just... If we can get a height that we're happy with. So let's say... Stay about there and see what happens. It's not really any higher, is it? I don't think. Let's adjust it because we can do it manually. I don't know how high. Oh, that's a bit much. Okay, so let's go for maybe one cent. Aha, that looks about right. It's kind of what we're looking for. And we will smooth and smoothen. <laughs> we will smooth the terrain either side of this road as we go. Let's make this touch bigger. Why does that suddenly appear to be really high? We were at 110. I didn't ask you to change. Did I write? I might have right clicked. It's quite possible. Oh, I changed the height instead of brush eyes. Idiot. Yeah. Don't worry. Ignore me. <laughs> Easily done. Alright. Let's kind of just sort this out at the side here. Now if you can kind of see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's sunken. I don't think... I could be wrong. I don't think that'll actually mess with the, the noise. Because in my eyes, it's lower down. So the noise shouldn't travel because it's a buffer. And I think that's the idea in reality anyway. What, I need to, there's a, uh, a mod that I've not got, um, which I need to get, I think, I forget what it's called, but it's something to do with the, um, the ploppable items and the assets, and it allows you to place them pretty much anywhere you want, and the good thing is, um, although it's rather small, we've got, let me put it out here where you can actually see it, where there's a bit of clear land, we've got these, so, it'll allow me to actually place it over the top of the motorway. Which I think will look pretty cool. When, we, when we're talking about details and things that we want to do. Um, there's even the 60 mile an hour speed limits and things like that. Not that I can really see it at this level. But maybe when we come down in the first person camera. I think all this no turn left. So there's loads of different things. That's, that's what I'm thinking. How are we doing over here? Just being a bit nosy. Let's speed the game up. Because we need we need that snow dump to empty. Oh, it's got no power now. Does that mean it's not going to do it? Oh, it's only two percent full. So let's let's give them their power. There we go. And hopefully that will work. So while we're while we're waiting on that, we will continue to build our road. Now I might have to tweak this a little bit. To get it right because of yeah nice because I've got to get through here as well and it might might need a little bit of work right, where are we now height 110 we'll bring all this back up right let's get this brush size it's a little bit bigger I think 110 must have been roughly the height of the actual terrain in the first place because it's not it's not shot up a, like a million miles Now potentially what I could do is go underneath this motorway and connect. Oh, this, this could be quite quite fun. If I increase the height of this one here and go higher up, I could have this come underneath and connect that way. And then the same with this one around that side. And that might actually look quite good. Rather than having loads of on and off ramps, 
that might be a way forward. And then what I'm thinking, we'll have roads like this going across it with some on ramps and off ramps, and we'll get the offices. We'll leave, we'll leave a little bit of space here, and we'll probably have some trees and decoration, and then we'll we'll start a road. So let's say something like. We might go with... I want to put trams in at some point, but... A bit dubious at the moment. But let's say we do something like... Oh, it looks like we'll try and build a bridge. Yeah, see, this is where I'm going to have... I need to get the mod that allows collisions, I think. Let me just put a little bit of a road first, so... Page up. It might... Yeah, it might let me get away with it. It's going to take a little bit of work, I think. <laughs> Just to, to get that right anyway. Let's try again. Just have a rough idea what it might look like. Oh, I might have actually put my highway a little bit too close together. I don't know though. You might get away with it. I'm gonna have to fiddle with it and, and get it right, but this is the sort of thing I want to be going for. This is just a rough rough outline. And then that way, and then we could possibly I might have to tweak the terrain when I do this. But we could do some again, don't judge this on the final result. I know what my other highways look like, but I'm actually putting some serious thought and planning into this. Oh we could even do a tunnel. I never even considered that. Oh, it looks a bit <laughs> a bit weird. But the odds are I wouldn't do it that way. I'd lower the train in. So we can do things like that to get them to, to the office. And then, like I say, some trees and things like that. But yeah, that's the plan. And we're going to replace a lot of the highway. I might even do the same thing through here so we can build up quite close to it. Put some trees and things in between. The traffic's not too bad. Why have I got the game paused? What's wrong with me? Like, noise pollution is always going to be noisy around here anyway. Ah, now that's going to annoy people, isn't it? Is anyone upset by that, I wonder? Because it is making a lot of noise. Nobody's saying anything. You know what, I'm tempted again. I'm going to lower. Let's put the taxes to 7 or 6. Because realistically, I'm playing on unlimited money anyway. I mean, at some point, it would be nice to kind of balance things out so we are actually making the money. Making the money? I'm not speaking English. I'm, st <laughs> I'm turning into a stereotypical Italian. There we are. Because if it's cheaper, if I'm right in thinking, they'll... Um, They'll be happier, and they'll let certain things slide a little bit more because it's cheap to live here. Okay, has this emptied yet? It has, so we will pick that up. And... One, two, three, four. We could do one over here. Now, I think they make a bit of noise, so... Yeah, they do. Hmm. Let's, let's put it here. And we can stop emptying. Right, that's going to allow me now to carry on with what I was doing. So we're at, it was 110 I think we were doing, weren't we? So 110, oh no, that was the, yeah, that was the height we were putting it back to. So if we do something like this, just give us ourselves a bit of room, because we've got to make this look as good as possible. I've got the concrete sides on that. I probably wouldn't need to do it, but I don't mind. So if we kind of... Oh, that worked perfectly. Oh, as you can see, bated breath. I'm, I, wasn't, I wasn't saying too much there because concentration kicked in. Actually, that's not too bad. 
that's not too bad at all I'm quite happy with that so we switch this back to 110 where's the brush size I'll speed this up a little bit yeah that definitely must have been the terrain height or thereabout yeah because it's <laughs> I think this is going to look awesome. Oh, we've got the road. We've already got them on here, haven't we? But that's only because um, the roads are going the wrong way. So it's probably kind of saying it's one way or something like that. But yeah, so they disappear. But it'd be nice to put them wherever we want them. If I've done that the wrong way. Yep. Yeah. Whoopsies. There we go. And we could potentially connect this road right across as well. So let's let's give it a go. So what are we on here? We're on a six lane, aren't we? So six lane with trees, but I don't think it makes a difference. Let's just go with a complete I might need a That's actually gonna work without me having to fiddle with it too much. Does that look right? I mean, it's perfectly high. But do you reckon it needs concrete pillars on it? Or some kind of bridge? I know a lot of the ones over here don't have, like, like the supporting struts and things like that. I don't know. I think we'll leave it. So if we kind of just get it going... Hmm. So I kind of want it going straight, but... We're just going to send this over here. We might, we might tweak this a little bit. But we've got our first road across. And then I think what we'll do is... We'll start to run. Because there's no junctions here, so it's quite, quite alright to, to do this. I think if we do something along the lines of... this whoop making myself seasick doing that oh someone took that road instantly so <laughs> as soon as I put it in they jumped on it what have we got here no power there you go what is that anyway is that, ah please yeah so we can do some decoration in, in here then we can do the same on the other side. We could run the road again. Sort of same idea. I think. Need the uh, freeform tool. So we might get away with running that. Space already occupied. By what? Is it because the road is a little bit curved? Yep. Let's redo this bit here then. Now is it going to let me? Oh, it's because it's gone into a four lane. Ah. Whoopsies. Try that again. Oh, come on. Just let me put it straight. <laughs> How annoying is that? Where's the road's gone? Question is, will it let me do it? I might throw a bit of a fit now. Okay, there we are. To be honest, this bit's going to get changed anyway once this comes in, so... I'm, I'm not going to panic. There we go. And again, we can probably put another bridge at this point. But I don't want to put too many, because it's going to... Too many different intersections are going to cause me issues. But, I think we're onto something there. Let me know what you guys think. I think I think this is definitely the way forward. I'm going to get, pick up the other mods that I need to kind of help help us along there. But, I think this is, this is my success story of this episode. Even though it was done before the episode. 
But I think that's the thing I'm the most happy with. Get, getting these houses to upgrade is going to be a challenge, I think. It might be this. It might be this that's causing it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, until next time, as always, take care.